Hi, this is Todd Miller with SRS and the inventor of the Sidekick. You may have already seen our other video showing the how-to on how to utilize our product, but we felt it necessary to talk just a little bit about dry ice, the safety of dry ice, and actually where to get dry ice. Dry ice is actually a very easy item to acquire. All you need to do is contact your local ice company because most of them stock it. And when asking for the dry ice, you want to ask for the pellets, which is what you saw us utilize in the video. The pellets make it really easy for your bar staff to use, so it's going to keep the speed up behind the bar. Now, dry ice is something that you do need to be careful with, even though you saw me handling with, with my bare hands. Dry ice is about minus 109 degrees Fahrenheit, so it's an extremely cold product. That's why you would never want to put a piece of dry ice in your mouth to chew, swallow, um, or ingest. That's why our product is the only one that's really safe to utilize dry ice. Now, dry ice is frozen carbon dioxide, which is what's used to carbonate beverages. The dry ice will not dilute your drink, it will not change the taste profile of your drink, but the one thing it will do, because it's minus 109 degrees, is keep your drink super cold. So that's actually an advantage for the people utilizing our product, especially with the different shots that they serve. But as you saw here in the video, you can actually handle dry ice with your bare hands, so long as you keep it moving in between your fingers. You would never want to sit and see who could hold that dry ice the longest because you will let it go. But all in all, dry ice is a very easy item to use and it's safe to use so long as you're using common sense. Now in storing dry ice, all you're going to want to need to have behind your bar is a small igloo cooler of some sort because dry ice sublimates. Sublimates means it goes from a solid state to a gas state. That's why when it's exposed to air, like you might be able to see here, you see steam or gas coming off of the product. So I, dry ice is not going to keep like normal ice would, so it's not something that you can just put into an open container and throw into your freezer. It needs to be in a cooler or a styrofoam cooler of some sort with the lid on it when it's not being used. I hope that helps. If you have any questions, please give us a call, and we look forward to hearing from you.